is the third day of five sessions this week on the basics of Tai Chi. Monday we did flow. Yesterday we did we did what did we do yesterday? Oh balance. I hope you got a lot out of that one. That was an important one. And today we are doing coordination. Coordination. How we can synchronize and harmonize the different parts of ourselves effortlessly with flow and balance. That's what we're going to look at very briefly today <sighs> over the next five, ten minutes maximum. Um, firstly, co Coordination, co, co, cooperate, co, co, do something with someone else mutually, order, order, not disorder, nation, coming together, mutual purpose sort of thing. The idea brings up the notion of coordination, brings up cooperation. And one of the problems we have when we learn Tai Chi at the very beginning is when I'm giving instructions to students to do these different moves, they often say, it's too complicated. I can't think of my waist, my weight balance, what to do with my head, my wrist, my elbow, my shoulder, all these things I have to coordinate and I have to get to cooperate. Breath, spine, weight. How do we do it when we are reared in a society that's based around competition and not cooperation? How do we return to our state of coordination and cooperation? So I'm going to show you how today. Not only do you get a Tai Chi posture, but you get a receta, a recipe, a recipe for social change. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to teach you today one brief mood, mood, move called Russian push because it exemplifies what we're trying to do here with coordination. Now, very often people say Russian push. Let me show it to you from the side. Coming back, up, down, forward. Sometimes people do it really leaning. Other people do it really upright doesn't matter it's all the same move but students find it complicated because there's different hands doing different things at different times how do we do it think of it in different terms let go of this grasping it let your imagination come out let your sense of play come out so instead of going is it left hand level with the jaw line elbow in level with the hip turn the hip bring the weight back Turn the waist, drop this, bend the arm, bring it up to the ear, drop the hand down to the inner thigh. Instead of all that, think of two images. Swat the fly out your face and slap someone on the nose. Let me show it to you again. Swat the fly out of your face and slap them on the nose. There you are, brushing and push. That's one way of teaching it. I love teaching like this, far less mechanical. The other way is if you happen to be a tennis player, which I'm not, and you've got to serve the ball. What happens? You throw it up in the air with your weight in the front leg. You take your weight into the back leg, you raise the racket and you move it forward. Throw it up in the air, push forward, throw it up in the air, and it's an ace. Fantastic. If you're into tennis, maybe that'll help. What if you're not into tennis? What if you are a swimmer and I'm not? This is the way I swim. But people who know how to swim tell me that it's done more like this. Keep your head low, keep your arms low and your arms go like this. So if you do this with me and you slowly stand up, and you turn to face the front, 
You keep your arms going, bring your left foot forward very slightly and slow these arms down. The back arm here becomes a push, the front arm moves across the body. The back is a push, the front arm across the body. As you push with the back, move your weight to the front. As this arm moves across, move it to the back. To the front, to the back. To the front, and as it goes to the back, turn to the side. Turn back to the front. Turn to the side, turn back to the front. Keeping your spine up, your head up, and your feet flat on the floor. And this is brush knee and push. This left hand going across the body, or the front hand, whether it's your right or left, doesn't matter. Front hand is soft, it connects and yields. The back hand is a push to the centre of the body. Connect, yield. Let me show it to you close. The push, coming forward, connecting, yielding to the side. Push, reach forward, connect, turn, and push. If you get lost, go back to swat the fly, slap the guy around the face. Swat, slap on the nose, and you've got it again. Interesting thing about all the moves of Tai Chi is that they combine these different elements. Soft and yielding, yang and harder, more substantial. They all involve the waist turning, rotating, and the weight going forward and back. These are basic principles that you find in all the different postures of Tai Chi. And I think you'd agree with this, Leibniz. It's another posture you've learned today without even thinking about it. You've delved into the world of coordination and acquired a complex and tricky posture for all students called brush knee and push. Now you may be saying to me, yeah, but you know, what am I gonna do with a brush knee and push? What I really need is a packet of rice or maybe another bottle of wine. Well, good question. That's going to be the subject of what we're gonna talk about at the end of Friday's session, because I've got a little surprise for you for next week. So, do remember these moves that we're doing. We're learning a couple each day. Maybe looking at one like Golden Rooster yesterday, Brush Knee and Push today. They're all going to be very useful next week. Okay, well, congratulations. That's another move. Uh, yes, two more days of this week to do. Remember... We've got to get this out to more people and I'm dependent on you leaving a comment, sharing, pushing out, getting people to come along and participate because, don't know about you, but every day I wake up and I read those headlines and I think, it, it gets worse every day. So, work on your health, work on your respiration, work on your coordination and work on your cooperation. It's all helping. Get other people to come in and join us. Thank you very much for joining me today. Sorry about the internet connection again at the beginning. It was his fault, it was his. He was downloading something on Pirate Bay. Told you, don't do it when I'm doing a broadcast live. That's it for today. I'm gonna to see you tomorrow. I'm gonna to leave you with one final brush knee and push. And that's it.